Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be talking about the new event coming out called A Mother's Strength. Now let's quickly get into the news and then we'll go ahead and cover the cards which is another copy and paste deck. So um, uh, basically the main thing that I wanted to let you guys know was that they are going to have another enchanted relic coming out this week. You know, the one that's super expensive where you got to collect all the materials to enchant it past the six stars. Kind of like how they had the uh, other relic for the spear where you can enchant it for the uh, earth affinity. So this is the water affinity version of that relic where you can enchant it past six stars to uh, do a lot more um, damage with it. It increases intensity, increased attack, and it increases the number of gens spawned by I think like one. But it's gonna cost you a pretty buck trying to get it. So good luck to you guys. Keep on spending and stay legendary. And then we are gonna be talking about the enchanted relic improvement. So the relic pack now offers two times the enchanted materials uh, crates on tier seven. That's good. Um, the loyalty collection and future collections will now offer enchanted material crates at various rewards, but still you can win up to only three and um, there's still that RNG in there. So yeah, you might be able to win three. They might be the same one and you will keep on spending to, you know, try to get all of them. So good luck to you guys. And this is going to be VIP appreciation week this week. So uh, the loyalty store is coming back and things like that so um daily and gear dungeon update uh daily dungeons are getting new catalyst and the gear dungeon is getting uh materials and the next event is going to be dark affinity slayers so be sure to get that 50 mana and let's go ahead and get into the cards which is going to be the copy and paste version of tyra dami and all those other decks there's so many now but this is the water version of this for the commander so let's go ahead and get into it um i'm pretty sure most of you guys know already what the skills are oh let's go over the first feature card which has a quote unquote new skill by the way and i'm gonna get into that skill so here is the first featured card prevailing warrior and um, of course, there's gonna be 400% damage and HP for all watered honored heroes and GVG attacks. And then um, it's just gonna be generating uh, five honored intensity and attacks for 4,000% attack plus 2,000 for every five stacks rounded down. If there is at least one water power gem on the board, attacks a second time. Okay, so this quote unquote new skill called passive uh, new life, once per turn once per battle instead of dying revive with one percent hp per five honored intensity and gain 50 percent attack for all heroes for two turns so revive with one percent hp per five honored intensity so there's a little tweak to it but at the end of the day like in gvg like how much intensity can you expect to build up and i guess this card can be good later on if you get like one shot by accident but still i don't see this being that great of a passive and also the flat line um still counters this ability counters this passive so at the moment like for guild versus guild i don't see it being that great at all but they are working on GVG balancing, so this might be a part in the fu uh, future, a crucial part. Who knows um, what they're going to do to balance GVG. So there's your uh, new skill. You'll just have a little bit more HP depending on how many honored intensity you have. So there is your quote unquote new skill. And then let's go ahead and get into the free card. So Clutch Guardian, um, again, creates two water gems both now and for the next two turns plus one additional water gem. It's just like your Tyra Dami card. We've all seen this before. Um, the Ultra Rare is going to go ahead and uh, increase the attack 
just like the ultra rare did for the dami and tyra deck when beginning a turn with a water power gem two or higher on the board creates a water gem power gem two but this will go up to three when you six star and evolve this card and then you have the ultra ultra rare with the x13 and pacifica she will be um she's gonna be again increasing the attack and then when beginning a turn with a water power gem one or higher on the board creates a water gem uh tier four and then the defender skill skill is auto heal which again doesn't really matter unless the gvg update makes it to where this skill can actually work right now there's no point and again this isn't even uh a warden so regardless it's whatever for the defender skill and then yeah so this is just copy and paste um so yeah there is your deck she looks like the all mother water affinity version so yeah um that's just the cards for this week um quickly i just want to touch up on the fact that i actually tried to get um the devs to do like a one-on-one -on -one interview on the channel and i wanted to record it and ask them a couple of questions that i had and also get questions from the community but of course they declined it and said oh we don't have the bandwidth and we just can't do something like this and blah 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 basically um we can't answer all the questions that you want to ask you know because all we care about is money at this point so yeah um again this is just like the copy and paste version and i think we do have a better um deck um yeah why don't you just use this one i don't see what's so great i mean this is the slayer version and then of course this is going to be creating i think uh power gem twos with the relic so the commander version i'm not sure if it's gonna create power gem twos or ones but it is gonna be creating power gems so we'll see when that drops so this is basically the commander version of the water affinity um deck with the same skills just copy and paste but don't worry guys according to them they're working on new content so let's see when that drop and how new it is because so far nothing really seems impressive and that's all for this video um uh good luck to you guys and thank you guys for all the love and support and i'll see you guys in the next video peace